A while back, there was a group of us guys that had gotten together to build a couple benches in, in an outdoor area for a Bible study that we wanted to do. Um, well, let me rephrase that. There was a group of guys, I was a part of them, but I was not gonna do any of the building because I got no handy skills, but I was gonna pretend like I knew what I was doing. But nonetheless, um, we were out there with, with shovels and different types of tools trying to break up the ground um, for the benches. And we were out there, we were kind of puttering along, and we were really getting pretty much nowhere fast. When completely out of the blue, um, a guy in a bulldozer showed up. He was doing some com other, complete other job. And we asked him if he would be willing to, you know, break up the ground in the area we wanted to build the benches. And he was completely willing to do so. What would have taken us days took him minutes. When we operate in isolation with our spiritual gifts, um, apart from others, we are kind of like us guys out there with shovels, um, just trying to kind of, uh, you know, bang, bang our way into a hard ground. But when our gifts are used in collaboration with others, we begin to experience the type of results that we did when that man in the bulldozer showed up. And so as we continue our devotional series entitled Chaos in Corinth, we're going to look at some of the spiritual gifts found in 1 Corinthians 12, uh, 7 through 10. Now to each one, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for the common good. To one there is given through the Spirit a message of wisdom, to another a message of knowledge by the means of the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another gifts of healing by that one Spirit, to another miraculous powers, to another prophecy, to another distinguishing between spirits, to another speaking in different kinds of tongues, and still another, the interpretation of tongues. Now when interpreting scripture, it's important to do our best to try to emphasize what the author, or what the passage is emphasizing. And, and as great and as wonderful as these spiritual gifts are, really Paul's main emphasis is the way that these gifts play out in conjunction with others, even more so than the spiritual gifts themselves. And so this is why he keeps referencing the imagery of a body. And this is why he keeps emphasizing it is the same spirit that disperses these different gifts. Now in this passage, we see there are gifts of knowledge and there are gifts of wisdom that are given to one another and, and to build up the body of Christ. And to go along with these kind of oratory gifts is a gift of prophecy by which um, one declares God's truth. But in addition to these kind of oratory gifts, there are different types of gifts like miraculous powers, um, discerning a spirit, speaking in different types of tongues, and, and healing. And here's the thing to see. If we just had the oratory gifts in the body of Christ, we would really be severely lacking, or if they were operating on an island in and of themselves. Um, and yet, at the same time, if we didn't have the oratory gifts and we only had these, these other gifts without being able to proclaim God's truth, we too would be a lopsided body. Now our human tendency is to often find Christians that uh, look like us, uh, talk like us, and think like us. Uh, but often the drawback from this is that we are looking for someone who we can be compatible with uh, rather than looking for someone who can complement us. Now while the saying is true, birds of a feather flock together, I think when it comes out to living out our faith and utilizing our gifts, it is important to seek out other Christians who have different gift sets um, than we do. We can either choose to live out our faith and utilize our spiritual gifts in a way in which we're like us, you know, taking those shovels to hard ground, getting nowhere fast, or we can begin to collaborate with people who think differently and have different gifts and be like we were when that bulldozer showed up and just see some amazing results that would exceed our expectations. So let me leave you with this question. Who is someone in your life that has a completely different gift set than you do whom you can begin to spend some time with?